Right, I'm going to attempt to give you a brief overview of the Circuit Tools analysis software which is shipped with Video VBox products. To load a file, press F3. The software scans the file and works out which circuit you are driving from, from its database of over 100 worldwide circuits. The start-finish line is defined from the database, the splits are automatically assigned and a previously surveyed track overlay is selected. If the circuit is not on the database, you can set the start finish line and split points by clicking on the track. In this session, it has detected that the file was recorded at Misano in Italy and there were 10 laps in total. To continue, press Y for yes. The 10 laps are displayed in the session window, in lap time order with the fastest lap at the top. The fastest lap is selected and displayed in the graph window as a velocity against distance line around the lap. The video of the fastest lap is paused at the beginning and can be played by pressing the play button. As the video plays, the cursor in the graph window follows the action and the data window is updated with the synchronised values. You can move the cursor by clicking on any point around the lap and the video is synchronised at the new position. To turn on any of the log channels, simply click on the tick box next to that channel. In this example, the cornering g-force is shown. Okay. How do you compare two laps? Turn on another lap by clicking on the tick box next to that lap. The comparison lap is then shown alongside the first lap and the data is overlaid in a different colour in the graph window. Both laps can then be played simultaneously and the graph window and data window are updated at the same time. A nice feature are the hotkeys for changing the screen layout. For example, to change to full screen video, press F5. When the other windows are hidden, you can still access them by hovering over the window bar at the bottom of the screen. We will switch off the lateral acceleration channel using this method and then we can also select which part of the video to start viewing. To switch to the full screen circuit map, press F11. Here you can see the circuit overlay and the two position traces from the different laps. To zoom into this map, click and drag a zoom box from left to right. You can now see the driving lines relative to the inside and outside of the actual track. To pan, right click and drag the map. To zoom out, you can use the quick button or click and drag from right to left. Let's swap back to the main analysis page by pressing F4. Now, how do you compare different drivers or different sessions? OK, first I'll turn off the comparison lap and then I'll load in the other session by pressing F3 again. Then I'll select the file from the second driver. This new session is displayed as an extra tab in the session window, with the laps in lap time order again. The original session is also still loaded. Note that the fastest lap of the second session is selected and displayed, and also shown for reference in the fastest lap section. Now let's analyse the two files you can immediately see that there is a big difference in speed at one section of the track towards the end of the lap. The second driver in this instance was a professional racing driver and his qualifying lap time was 3.77 seconds quicker than his teammate, so let's work out exactly how that was achieved. This time we will display the split times to break down the track into the separate corners. We have six sectors and you can see small differences in each sector, but a big difference in sector 5. By clicking on sector 5, the graph will zoom into just this area so we can see exactly what is going on. To see what part of the track this relates to, press F11 again to view the circuit map. We can see that there is a slight right-hand curve, followed by a more angled right-hand bend. By pressing F4, we can return to the main screen, and we can place the cursor at the beginning of the data and press the right arrow key to single step through. What we can immediately see is that the slower driver is much closer to the apex of the first curve than the faster driver. Let's switch to full screen video to see this in detail by pressing F5. By looking at the bonnet of the car relative to the red and white curb, you can see exactly how much closer the slower driver gets to the apex. Let's now press F11 to look at the circuit map to see what this looks like. Pressing F4 to return, we can now single step through the video to see the knock-on effect this has. As the car approaches the next corner, the faster driver is now much further over to the left-hand side of the track and carrying an extra 7 miles an hour. 
The wider line enables him to carry much more speed through the apex of this bend. And in this case it is 12 miles an hour. How does this affect the lap time? First, let's give ourselves some more room by minimising the ribbon menu at the top of the screen. This is toggled by pressing R. Now let's turn on a very useful channel, the Delta T or Time Difference channel. This provides a plot of the time lost or gained around the lap, and in this instance the difference from the start to the end of the sector is around 1.7 seconds. OK, that is the largest area for improvement, what about the rest of the lap? Let's examine the whole lap by clicking on the lap time rather than an individual split time. Now you can see the Delta T channel showing a gradual time loss throughout the lap before the larger difference near the end of the lap. Let's pick a high speed corner and see exactly what is going on. By looking carefully at the video you can see that the faster driver is using a little bit more curve than his teammate. Compare where the edge of the track meets the bonnet. This is probably easiest in full screen video so we'll press F5 again. Going back to the graph, you can just see that this allows the faster driver to get onto the throttle a fraction of a second earlier, resulting in a small gain of between 0.2 to 0.3 seconds. This turns out to be the same for almost every corner, and when you add them all up, you get the remaining time which has been gained by the quicker driver. This shows just how simple it is to use the new Circuit Tool software in conjunction with a video VBOX in order to improve your lap times.